Hi viewers, today I am going to teach you how to generate a pixel art in Excel with the help of Python. So what you are seeing is a generated pixel art. Technically each cell has been set with the background color. What is the fill color here? So this is the fill color has been set. But all these have been generated. So I have not actually drawn it. I have generated it. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just to closing it. And here is the image. I want to show. Here is the image. So this is this is the image actually I'm going to use. This is the image it has been named it is named tree.png uh, you are looking at the photoshop okay just to show the image I am using the photoshop so this is the tree.png um, you can even see the name here tree.png so this is the one I am going to convert okay guys uh, let's see the code now But here is the code. So the total number of lines is 33. So with these lines, uh, this one is going to magically convert the image into Excel call background. Okay. So for this, what we need is that actually we need um, the packages NumPy, PAL, Python image. Uh, library i think uh, that's the package you can see the package pip oh, i'm sorry not the pip oh, the installed package pillow so i'm using the pillow here so python image library so it has been forked uh, the name is pillow and another one another package the excel sx writer so all these packages are needed and here it's a small function i have written uh, because i needed to to convert the rgb values of a pixel to hex value so this is what the function does okay and here what i am doing is i'm just opening the image and loading the image so opening the image image image.open is also from pa library and uh, the same thing happens in the image PPIX2 both are in the uh, same library so we need to open the image and we are keeping those values inside these variables image and image pics image pics is particularly useful to get the pixel the place of the pixel and the uh, color of the pixel what I am doing here img underscore array I am getting the image into the array so with this array I can iterate the placement of each pixel so that's why we need this array so for this I'm bringing the np dot array then this is the number pipe number from this is from the number pi package and I'm going to you I'm using the image here this is the image value so I'm using this image parameter and sending this parameter to the number array, number uh, numpy and it stores all the values in the img array okay then what i'm going to do is i'm creating another two variables w book and ws that is the workbook and worksheet so these two things are generated i mean uh, are used from the package excel sx writer so this one creates the file excel pixels dot xls means pixels dot excel sx so it creates the file and ws it creates the or worksheet okay so let's see what does this do what i'm doing here is that i'm going to set the column pixel the column pixel with 230 px it means that i'm using the function ws for this 
I mean for this uh, worksheet I mean worksheet yes correct worksheet so worksheet dot set column pixels from 0 to the width of the image so that gives the np dot shape image array of 0 means the width the width in pixels so I'm getting the number of pixels here itself I'm setting everything to 30 px 30 is the width of the each column that is going to be applied inside the excel fine okay here comes the main part this is the for loop that comes with x-axis and y-axis that is we have to iterate the values the width and height we have to iterate with width and height so what I'm going to do is basically we need to do only one thing that is getting the color of each pixel in the image so that is what I'm going to do so I'm going to use the variable the color then what I can do is I can use the image pix of yx of 0 image pix of yx of 1 image pix of yx of 2 technically these values are R G B so red green and blue then I am sending all these values I am sending all these values to this function this function converts the value into the um, hex value because excel understands x value I mean hex value so for that only we have to convert these values now we need to write into the excel so this is what we really does here so we are writing in some nothing but a blank character I um, mean blank I mean a blank place so nothing we are not we are not writing anything uh, and we are iterating through x y it means that each and every pixel will be each and every row call row and column intersection okay then what happens is here is the cell format what really is a cell format cell format is nothing but where we where we are adding the color here cell format it has to be assigned with the wbook.art format uh, it's a standard one then cell format we have to set set pattern equal to uh, set pattern of one which means it's a solid value so you can even see a comment here it's going to be a solid value suppose if you are using any kind of pattern like slanting dots or straight dots or anything like that you can change the pattern if you open the excel you can see them okay here what i am doing is cell format dot set bg color to the color the value of the hex so this this hex will be applied here and here so we are writing the value so the loop continuously runs until the image pixels are completed and here just i am asking for the input successfully created excel sx file then i'm closing the workbook Technically, I can move it here. That's, uh, that's good. Because it has to close the workbook and we have to show the message. So that's it guys. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, uh, I'm going to run it. Okay. Successfully created Excel Let's file. Okay. Now let's go to the Excel. In the Excel, we are opening the pixels.xlx file. Actually, that is what we have named the file here. You can see the file here. Here is the file. Yes, here is the file. Name. Okay, this is the output file. So here is the output. Okay, suppose um, I'm just deleting it again uh, to show to show that actually I'm really generating it. Maybe like I'm going to set something like I'm going to set all the things to white. So all things has been set to white. I'm even so white and then saving it and closing it. So I'm going to generate again. Going here. Run. So it has generated the XLX file again. So I am going to the 
Excel. If you're going to open the file, and then we can open this file. Okay, so here is the generated one. Each and every color has been used with the fill format cells fill. So you can see the green color here. Of this, you can see the uh, red color. So all the colors are generated like that only. So I can clearly say that you can count the number of cells from here to here. That is totally 20. 20 cells are here. And here you can see 25 cells are here. To show that, I can show it here itself. So technically it means that I can say like image, image size. Uh, okay, I'm going to pixels. So you can clearly see here. It is 20 and 25. So that's right. So we have converted exactly to pixels. The good thing is that actually uh, you can adjust the width by selecting all the headers here. All the headers here. And then slightly moving on to. So it becomes large cell. The same. So suppose if you are dragging and setting it to particular size, it will look good because it's a pixel, it's a pixel lot. So it has to be, it has, the cell has to be a, and the cell has to look like a pixel. That's why actually the width and height should be same. I'm actually, I'm teaching uh, many things online. I'm providing worksheets online to students. Uh, actually, I was in need of uh, creating pixel lots. In Excel and even in Google Sheets uh, actually I was thinking uh, I'm, I'm little good at uh, Python not an expert I'm little good at Python so I thought actually maybe I can create something in Python that could automate the process of generating Excel file from the image and this is the output I'm very happy to give this tutorial to you so maybe someone or many teachers may use it so happy to show it guys thanks for watching please like subscribe and share please thank you